So um, I have a presentation. I assume it's coming up. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is uh, is graduate education, and um, thanks to Rich for such a wonderful uh, introduction to why we need innovation in um, excuse me why we need innovation in education in general, and certainly that does apply to graduate education as well. So many of the concepts that Rich mentioned about innovation, certainly uh, introducing concepts of multidisciplinary projects uh, should occur at, at the graduate level um, in addition to the undergraduate level. And I will say that ERCs have been tremendous examples of use-inspired research centers uh, for the rest of the nation. And not only just use-inspired, but I think as uh, President Chanel mentioned, curiosity-inspired research as well. Many times the ERCs have initiated change in the universities by developing models and models that could be um, duplicated and mimicked in other parts of the campus. Truly thinking about out-of-the-box thinking, not focusing on uh, one topic, but, but bringing different disciplines to the table. However, when we look at doctoral education specifically, um, the general model has stayed the same for, um, for decades, centuries perhaps, and this is a, a cartoon that represents what many graduate students uh, believe is the basic model for a dissertation or thesis. The whole concept that, um, that the dissertation or thesis would be based on lab work independently conducted in, a la uh, um, in some sort of research facility, followed by writing a dissertation, a traditional dissertation, uh, and presenting that to a major professor. Certainly that model is, uh, it works extremely well. We are not discussing uh, any type of uh, problem associated with the traditional model. What we're talking about, at, I think, nationally, is how do we uh, enhance that model to allow students to experience uh, different types of uh, programs outside of just the dissertation-focused research. So there has been quite a bit of discussion within faculty throughout different institutions about what is the role of a graduate student? How do we define uh, the, uh, the work environment for one of these students? How do we define tasks that must be completed for a research project that funds uh, one of these graduate students? And so there's quite a bit of discussion about are graduate students employees or are they students? Uh, what's the workforce driver? Is it uh, the market? Is it uh, our own laboratories? So uh, I think we have to have these difficult conversations before we actually make uh, transformational change in graduate education. Um, when we discuss innovation in graduate education, oftentimes the faculty become very concerned about any type of model that would decrease their, um, their responsibility as a major professor for graduate students. Um, and uh, I will tell you, in my own institution, for example, uh, recently we had a discussion about graduate students and there was a, an outcry by, by the faculty for more programs for graduate students, yet when we discussed with individual faculty members whether those faculty members would release students perhaps for a summer, for a month, um, to, to have an uh, out of classroom, out of laboratory experience, there was quite a bit of reluctance to take that step. So the question is how do we somehow integrate these programs that would expand their over, uh, overarching view of the world and, and certainly their own discipline without impacting the tried and true method of producing graduate students through a dissertation and in-depth uh, educational experience. So um, I will tell you personally at my own institution, one question we're asking today is um, if we have the majority of our PhD students moving into industry, why do we continually uh, train them only for an academic career. Um, I will say that we have um, a, approximately 1,700 PhD students at my institution. Uh, we know that only 90, uh, that we know that 92, 93 percent of those students when they graduate move into industry or national laboratories. Um, yet there has been no training or no, no opportunity for training in business and in communications, working in large teams, connection with national labs or industry whatsoever. Again, um, faculty may not embrace the idea of releasing students to engage in those type of activities. However, they may be very important to their long-term um, career. We've also discussed the flexibility issue 
uh, the idea that the university requires a traditional dissertation. We've discussed the idea and have implemented it in mechanical engineering of a portfolio approach. Rather than having um, just um, research or even research papers bound in some way as a dissertation, looking more broadly at um, uh, patent disclosures, um, broader impact, um, any way that they could show that they have mastered a subject. Uh, this goes against what I would consider a traditional model because many universities would not embrace a portfolio approach in engineering. However, I believe it's time to step back and think about what is impact and how can a student demonstrate impact and perhaps outside of the traditional published, published model. And in, in terms of industry, there are many models that I think work well. But one, one um, model, one program that was mentioned in our breakout group was the idea of having industry internships for graduate students. We developed a program that we call Industry Fellows. We've developed two programs. One is an academic teaching fellow program that primarily um, trains students or educates students to, be, to move into the academy. And then we decided, well, maybe we should have a similar program for Industry Fellows. And that would be an opportunity for students sometime within their um, four to five years as a doctoral student to have the opportunity uh, to to work in industry. That's very important for us as we talk about uh, this bi-directional flow uh, between industry and universities. I will say that we have developed a very strong professor of practice programs program and that is a program where uh, individuals that have high, uh, significant levels of experience in industry come back to the university. It's not an adjunct professor status. It's a, a full-time uh, employee of the university. It is, um, has been extremely successful. We have approximately 60 of those individuals now in the College of Engineering. We're moving to, to uh, reach 100 of those individuals. And I will say it's been quite eye-opening. Many people believe that when we uh, develop this program that these individuals would come from industry and only teach, and teach our junior, sophomore, freshman level courses. What has happened is that I believe our faculty, and, and quite frankly, I have as well, uh, recognized that there's significant, um, a significantly important fundamental research that's ongoing in industry now. Oftentimes universities feel that the fundamental research occurs in industry, in, in the university, and industry um, uses our, our uh, findings to create products. That is obviously not the case. So by bringing professors of practice into uh, our university, we have enhanced our research programs as well. So this connectivity is not just about the, the interaction between the students and the professors of practice. It's much broader than that. Um, we believe the professors of practice program allows us to bring an industry perspective uh, to the, both the classroom and the laboratory. And this interaction with faculty has been very successful. There has been quite a bit of a debate now about whether professors of practice should serve as major professors for doctoral students, um, whether those individuals um, should be required to have co-advisors, and that's a, a pretty interesting debate right now. Um, and so we're, we're moving through that process to determine how do we view professors of practice uh, compared to tenure and tenure track faculty. And lastly, what I wanted to mention is this focus on entrepreneurship, building on what Rich mentioned, allowing the students to focus um, on creation rather than just uh, directed research in a specific topic. It's very, very popular uh, uh, with the graduate students to allow them to have that freedom. Um, I believe it will be more popular in the future. It's particularly interesting to see those graduate students interact with the undergraduate students who are interested in that area. We also have to address the fact that uh, many of our students are international students. Um, they come into PhD programs with a certain perspective, uh, changing that perspective, allowing them and encouraging them to reach outside the traditional model um, will be a challenge as well. And I will uh, stop there, but I believe there are many different alternative pathways to, uh, to a PhD and we should be open um, and embrace them all.